Good day everyone, hope you're having a great time. On my recent videos, I talked about the overview of CAD Xbox Nail Moonlight as well as how to update the firmware on the Moonlight VTX module. Today, we'll move forward on testing how this Moonlight camera performs. We'll see if this reel is 4K, we'll look also at the different resolutions available. And so, let's get started. After the update process, let's look at the settings and options available with the Moonlight Kit. Mind you, at the time of recording of this video, I was just using a Voxnail VRX module which does not have the same firmware yet as the Moonlight VTX. This means that some of the features will not be available unless the firmware for the VRX rolls out. Currently, only firmware for the Goggles X and the Moonlight Kit are available. I have already bound the VRX with the Moonlight Kit prior to this test and set my preferred channel. As expected, I received a message prompt stating a mismatch on the firmwares. But do not worry, this will not affect the flight. As mentioned earlier, you will only miss some of the features and options with this configuration. So let's skip this for now. On the record set menu, you will see here the additional options on the VTX recording. We now get the most awaited 4K resolution available in 60 and 30 FPS. We also get the 2.7K which allows you to enable EIS and of course the 1080 and 720p resolutions just like before. In the camera menu, you will see here the same options as before. Although as stated in the change logs, there should have been added options for the ISO and the 2DNR in addition to the 3DNR settings. Apparently, these are only available with the Goggles X. But CADEX confirmed that the firmwares for the VRX and V1 Goggles will follow later. Let's go back to the record set menu. You can set whatever preference you want. But for the Moonlight test, I will put the main options to default. One thing to note is that when you select 4K resolution, either 30 or 60 frame rates, the EIS option gets disabled. Thus, if you want to try out EIS, make sure you are not using 4K. By the way, for this test, I have the firmware 37.42.2 on the VRX module and 15.1.12 firmware on the Moonlight, thus the mismatch. Anyway, let us ignore the numbering for now. By the time the Moonlight kit gets officially released, a stable firmware will also be available for all other devices. Before conducting the test, I have mounted the Moonlight Kit on a small platform to make it easier to handle, similar to what I did with the HD Pro Kit. The platforms of the two kits were fitted with dual lock velcros for quicker changing. Initially, I will be doing some night shots to give you an insight on how the Moonlight Kit performs. I will also take video with my HD Pro camera and compare it with the Moonlight's night shot to see how each camera performs on changing night lights. Luckily, the V2VTX and the Moonlight shares the same UART pinout, thus we can easily swap the two kits out. Here's the test bed by the way. This is a flight controller deck which I pulled out from my Sky Hunter fixed wing. It has been flown already, thus we don't need to set up anything for this test. We just need to put the kit platform and plug the UART cable to the flight controller through this Type-C connector that I have installed before. Type-C is very handy as you won't be plugging it incorrectly. To change the kit, you just need to move the UART cable to the other one. I just did a simulated night flight test by walking the modules outside. Starting with the 4K 60fps day scene setting. And here's how the night setting looks like. Let's put the two videos side by side for comparing the day and night settings. Now I adjusted the setting to 1080p60 night scene so we can do a proper comparison with the HD Pro.
This one is a night shot from HD Pro at 1080p 60fps using default settings like what I set with the moonlight. Now let's put these two videos side by side. Which one do you think perform better? Which one is more saturated? Or which one is more grainy? Which one handles the changing light in the environment better? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. This concludes the part 3 of my Moonlight series. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video.